This is News Trail, your daily dose. It's Thursday, 17th March 2022. Welcome to News Trail. I am Adetola Kayode. President Muhammadu Buhari has apologized to Nigerians for the inconvenience caused by the prolonged shortage of petroleum products. He says his administration knows the fuel shortage has placed a strain on Nigerian citizens and businesses, but relief is on the way. Meanwhile, Minister of Power Engineer Abu Bakali says the country is facing erratic power supply due to the shortage of gas and some of the generators are undergoing scheduled maintenance. He disclosed this to newsmen shortly after the Federal Executive Council meeting. Presided over by Vice President Professor Yemi Oshibaju, the minister said although the national grid collapsed and was recovered twice, the ministry will continue to do more to ensure the generation of more megawatts. In what looks like a move to douse the tensions rocking the ruling party ahead of its national convention, President Muhammadu Buhari has asked that the Yobe state governor May Malabuni take over the affairs of the caretaker Extraordinary Convention Planning Committee of the All Progressives Congress. In a letter addressed to the chairman, Mr. President says the multiplicity of cases currently rocking the party has the prospect of invalidating the activities and actions of the party by the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC the decision. Buhari asked that members of the Progressives Governors Forum and their followers should desist from behaviors or utterances that may likely jeopardize the transition to the convention. In his quest to becoming the presidential candidate of the All Progressives Congress APC, former governor of Lagos State and national leader of the party, Ashiwa Jubola Hamed Tinubu, has met with the APC caucus in both chambers of the National Assembly. Tinubu will first met with the senators in the office of the Senate President, solicited their support for what he described as his lifetime ambition, saying it's not about gaining power, but cultivating democracy and bringing forth good fruit for the welfare of the people. The former the governor also took his request to members of the House of Representatives, where they unanimously backed his ambition, assuring Nigerians that they won't be taken for granted. Russian leader Vladimir Putin has been described as a war criminal. U.S. President Joe Biden made the off-the-cuff remark in response to a reporter's question at the White House. A move watchers say is likely to escalate diplomatic tensions even further. It is the first time he has used such language to condemn President Putin, and the White House later said he was speaking from his heart. Kremlin, however, says it is unacceptable and unforgivable rhetoric. On his official Twitter account, the president says Putin is inflicting appalling devastation and horror on Ukraine. These are atrocities and outrage to the world. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky earlier gave a speech via video link to join U.S. Congress where he received a standing ovation. Hours later, Mr. Biden approved additional weapons as aid for Ukraine. And that's it on News Trail for today. Many thanks for connecting. Please do not forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel at Ditola Kayode. Enjoy the rest of the day.